Yes, today I'm going to show you how to make your spiral slice ham great again. So using the store brand spiral slice ham, we can make you forget about honey baked or other expensive name brands. We're going to smoke our ham on a smoker for two and a half hours at 250 degrees and then we'll add a spectacular maple glaze. So you can call this process double smoked and double smoked is double good. Now use the smoker of your choice. I'll be using my Yoder YS 1500 pellet smoker with mesquite pellets. Now a lot of people prefer apple wood with pork and there's nothing wrong with that. So you decide. Go ahead and preheat your smoker to 250 degrees Fahrenheit. Now to get that ham ready, all you gotta do is unwrap it, place it on a cooling rack. Now the rack makes it a lot easier to handle while we work our ham magic. When your smoker reaches 250 degrees Fahrenheit, then place the ham in the smoker. And I like to rotate the ham about every 30 to 45 minutes or so to even out the smoking process. Now we need to find out what the ham temperature is every now and then, so take the temperature or you can use a probe if that's what you prefer. We'll be adding the glaze to the ham before it reaches 140 degrees Fahrenheit because 140 is our max temperature. After you got that ham smoking, then let's get to work on the good part. We're going to create a maple glaze that's to die for. In your pot, add one cup of brown sugar, one cup of maple syrup. You need to use 100% real maple syrup. No cheating here. Use the good stuff. A half cup of apple jelly, one quarter teaspoon cinnamon. Add a generous amount of nutmeg. More nutmeg, please. Now let's heat it up, melt the jelly, keep it stirred. We're just going to heat this up until it rolls over for about a minute. Now set it aside until we take the ham off the smoker when it hits that two and a half hour mark. Now the glaze might thicken some as it cools and if it turns out too thick then all you've got to do is add apple juice. Wow, you can tell that ham's getting some good pullback in color. That's your eye peel and style points there, so you know it's going to be good. Let's place the cooling rack with the ham on it across a low profile pan or tray, and then we'll glaze the ham on all sides with the brush. So I like to get down between the slices. That makes it extra good. Be sure to pour the extra glaze on top of the ham, and then back into the smoker it goes for 15 to 30 minutes to let that glaze set up and get tacky. Okay, we're almost done, so take everything off the smoker, and then we just have a few more things to do. You want to sprinkle on some turbinado sugar. Be generous and get it all around. Sweet. Now after it's cooled down a bit, then go ahead and slice it up at the seams. Now you should wind up with three major muscle groups plus the ham bone. Okay, I've got to go ahead and give it a taste. Yes, we did indeed make this ham great again. So don't settle for anything less than this. You deserve it. Make your ham great again too. Now the only thing left to do here is hit that like button on your way out and make this channel great again by subscribing to Paw Daddy's Blind Hog Barbecue. And then watch my video that shows you in detail on how to carve your spiral sliced ham.